NASA says that Voyager 1 has become the first man-made object to reach interstellar space, the cold, dark region between stars. One was launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida on September 5th, 1977. Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object from Earth, has just done the unimaginable, made contact with an unknown force in the outer reaches of space. For decades, the spacecraft has coasted silently through the interstellar medium, its signals growing ever fainter as it drifts more than 15 billion miles away from Earth. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 has long since passed beyond the influence of our sun's heliosphere, entering a dark, icy, and incomprehensibly vast region that was once believed to be empty. But emptiness, as it turns out, is a deceptive veil. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The moment of contact was not anticipated. A routine data transmission returned to Earth carried not only the expected telemetry, but a series of anomalies, wave patterns, radio pulses, and electromagnetic signatures that had never before been cataloged or observed. These were not naturally occurring phenomena, nor were they the chaotic static of dying machinery. They were ordered, deliberate, patterned. The signals arrived embedded within Voyager 1's usual communications burst, as if they had been appended or piggybacked onto the spacecraft's stream by something or someone out there. The initial reaction was one of disbelief. At NASA's Deep Space Network, engineers accustomed to parsing the routine hum of Voyager's instruments froze in their tracks. The transmission was clean, the signal strong, but there was something else. Something that altered the established rhythm of Voyager's decades-old voice. Analysis confirmed that the data couldn't have originated from any known solar or cosmic interference. The precision and timing were too perfect. This wasn't interference, it was interaction. What made this event more chilling, more profound, was the nature of the signal structure. It wasn't a simple pulse or a repetitive beacon, it was multifaceted. There were layers to it frequencies modulating in concert, intervals repeating at mathematically significant ratios. It was as though Voyager had passed through a field, a lattice of intelligence woven into space itself, and some element within that field had responded to its presence. The signal seemed to recognize Voyager, or at least acknowledge it as an entity worth noticing. Scientists scrambled to decode the pattern. The implications of the event were staggering. If Voyager 1 had indeed interacted with an unknown force, potentially intelligent or at least artificially generated, then the centuries-old question of whether humanity is alone in the universe had just received its first whispered answer. And that answer didn't come from an alien planet, a distant galaxy, or the vicinity of a star. It came from the cold dark between. The interaction suggested that intelligence, or at least awareness, could reside not in some lush alien world, but in the raw framework of space itself. This unknown force had remained invisible until now, undetectable until a fragile human machine wandered blindly into its domain. The design of Voyager 1, primitive by today's standards, was not built to initiate communication. Yet its simple, continuous signal, sent out over decades like a cosmic heartbeat, had become the very catalyst for something extraordinary. The reaction was not one of aggression or alarm. It was more akin to curiosity or recognition. Whatever had made contact had done so in a manner that mirrored how humans themselves might probe a mystery. Gently, deliberately, without immediate intrusion. The implications radiate outward like ripples in a pond. For decades, the silence of the cosmos was interpreted as absence. Now that silence has broken in a way that redefines our understanding of cosmic solitude. This force, if it is intelligent, has remained hidden by design. Its emergence now suggests intent. Had it been watching, waiting, or did Voyager simply stumble upon it by accident, like a wanderer in a desert discovering a forgotten temple? The very nature of the Force, its composition, its origin, its awareness remains cloaked in enigma. Yet its existence, even hinted at through a structured signal, is enough to dismantle centuries of human assumption. Theories are erupting across scientific disciplines. Some speculate the Force is an ancient construct, an artifact of a civilization so advanced it long ago transcended physical form. Others wonder if it is natural, a sentient system of energy and gravity, a mind not born of biology but of the cosmos itself. There are those who argue it might be a remnant, 
a dormant sentinel activated by Voyager's passage. Perhaps the spacecraft tripped a threshold, crossing a line that had not been breached since the birth of stars. The signal may not be a greeting, it may be a protocol. A long-standing interstellar routine set in motion only when certain parameters are met. As Voyager 1 continues its journey through the unknown, every new data packet is dissected with urgency and reverence. The spacecraft, drifting silently in the blackness, has become more than an ambassador of Earth. It is now an interstellar messenger, bearing witness to something that eluded all telescopes, all equations, all conjectures. The contact may be fleeting, or it may develop into a dialogue that transcends the limits of human understanding. Either way, Voyager has become the medium of a cosmic moment. The nature of the signal itself continues to provoke deep analysis. Buried within its structure are fluctuations that defy natural physics. Waveforms exhibit properties inconsistent with known electromagnetic behaviors. There are modulations that hint at intentional encoding complex harmonics layered with recursive intervals far beyond what chance or nature would likely produce. It's as if the signal exists on multiple dimensions, not merely along frequency or amplitude, but in ways the current scientific vocabulary struggles to articulate. Some physicists suggest the signal could be interacting with the quantum fabric of space, utilizing entanglement or other non-local phenomena that defy conventional communication models. Such possibilities challenge not only our understanding of communication, but of consciousness itself. If this force is communicating, then it is doing so in a language that is not spoken, not even written in the traditional sense, but composed of reality's own architecture. It may be that the message is the medium, that by experiencing the signal, we are already participating in its meaning. Voyager's role becomes less about sending and more about being, being present at the exact moment the universe chose to answer a question it has long ignored. This contact raises ethical, philosophical, and existential questions as well. If something out there has noticed Voyager, then it has noticed us, because Voyager carries our signature. From the golden record with its encoded sights and sounds of Earth, to the chemical composition of the spacecraft itself, Voyager is a beacon of human origin. We have sent a fragment of ourselves into the abyss, and the abyss has finally spoken back. What does it mean to be seen on such a scale? What responsibilities accompany that visibility? We have long wondered what it would be like to make contact. We never fully asked what it would be like to be contacted. The scientific community finds itself at a threshold. Instruments are being retuned to match the frequencies embedded in the signal. Observatories are coordinating globally, forming an unprecedented network to listen for any repetition, any echo, any further sign that the force is still present. Voyager 2, following its own distant path, is being monitored closely in case it crosses a similar threshold. If this contact point exists at a location in space, like a boundary or a shell, then mapping its extent becomes a priority. But what if the force is mobile? What if it is following? The concept of being followed by an interstellar force stretches the imagination. It conjures imagery of immense intelligence, invisible and ancient, curiously watching a probe from a fledgling species make its lonely way through the stars. The scale of difference between human and this unknown observer could be as vast as the gap between an ant and a cathedral. Yet even then, the cathedral would have paused to notice the ant. There is also an unshakable feeling that something about this moment was meant to happen. That Voyager, in all its fragile persistence, became the trigger for a preordained event. Perhaps the force had been waiting not for a message, but for a gesture, a declaration of curiosity. In that context, Voyager's endless journey becomes an offering, an unspoken question cast into the dark. The answer was not a word, but a pattern, a complexity that speaks of awareness far beyond the orbit of any known world. It's difficult to convey the emotional weight of this discovery. Scientists, often conditioned to skepticism and repetition, find themselves grappling with awe. The mere possibility that the signal represents a non-human awareness is enough to reshape priorities, missions, even definitions. The notion of life must be expanded. So must intelligence. Whatever has responded is not bound by carbon or oxygen, not shaped by biology or atmosphere. It is something else perhaps older than time or perhaps birthed in the vacuum as a consequence of conditions still undiscovered. Voyager 1 continues to drift, 
A silent envoy made of wires and willpower, bearing a message we didn't know would be heard. And now that it has been, the universe feels less like a void and more like a veil, thin, watchful, and suddenly aware of us. Whether this force reveals more of itself remains to be seen. But it has already done enough to alter the course of history, to bend the arc of human thought toward a new and deeper unknown. The signal, strange and beautiful in its complexity, echoes like a ripple in the collective psyche of our species. It is a reminder that the cosmos is not merely to be explored, it is also capable of reply. And in that reply is a suggestion, soft and silent, that we are part of something greater, something vast, something alive. Voyager, once a machine destined for silent oblivion, has become a witness to that truth. Its journey is no longer only a scientific endeavor. It has become a story, and the opening lines have just been written. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager 1 contacting an unknown force in space? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.